What? I had no idea. These are epic. They actually look like lava. What's up, guys? It's King Daddy D Mac, and welcome! Welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved! That's right, we're playing here with ACO, having so much fun doing flips! My goodness, how's everybody doing today? I hope you're doing well, because me, personally, I'm doing pretty epic. Yes, because we really got into it last time. We got ourselves two new elemental types. We got ourselves, um, well, one, one new. But anyway, we got a flying poison dino. And we did some crazy breeding, trying to get it to upgrade to the next tier, which I haven't been able to do yet. And we had, like, I think 300 plus eggs. So it's pretty rare. It's also possible RGs cannot um, upgrade, but I don't know. I'll find out. I am recording this immediately after last episode. I just flipped on my uh, face cam and getting it going because there is a shiny out on the map right now that the shiny finder tells me about. And it is the female to our male poison racks which we got the day before and we we absolutely have to start breeding with if we want to take full advantage of it and it hopefully will mean that we're completed with the poison tier for what we need i think probably if you get rexes for each type you are uh you know good to go for the bosses in any case um yes i'm pretty excited i did spend quite a bit of time leveling up this elemental rg so that maybe just maybe we can use it to tame up our next poison rack. So it would save us a lot of mats. And then also just to show you, it's pretty cool. Um, Check this out, check out. So we've got this Pteranodon. It sets the guy on fire if we uh, peck him or we can spin and look at that. It does lightning from the skies. It is so incredibly cool and epic. And it does, in fact, say that we can upgrade it more if we, uh, you know, find something to uh, breed with it. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Our only holdback right now is the fact that we might not have enough kibble for the racks. Let's go review really quick what we actually currently have. We have 13. The one that we did the other day took 10. And that was enough. But... Eh, this one is a good bit higher level, so it may require even more than that, but it's already been on the map for a long time. So, like, we got to go get to business. We got to try and tame it immediately. So hopefully that is just going to be enough. You know, we'll we'll just go with it. Um, Let's go ahead and grab these. These have been the stone gates been absolutely amazing thus far for trapping Rexes. So hopefully that will be enough. But anyway, I'm going to head on over there. I'm going to see if we can do this. We may and hopefully I can grab some elementals that I spot on the map on the way. So if we do need more kibble, I was saying 15 was the number I thought would be the safe, the safe number to have in order to uh, get it tamed, which we had until we ran into that pteranodon. So, yeah, you know, you got to make choices in life. And sometimes, you know, you may have to sacrifice something for your said choice. Oh, all right. Come on. All right. All right. That brings us up to 14. Oh, if we could find one more. Hold on. Raptors pretty commonly are the guys you want. And then dodos have a chance to give you even more than one. So I'll keep my eyes open. Hold on. What's that? Oh, oh, perfect. Dude. Dude, that's it. That's all. This is all we needed to get to the uh, 15. Come on. And do we get it? We got it. All right, let's go back. And even then, I'm just guessing it's possible. It could be even more than this. But, you know, just rather be uh, safe than sorry. So let's head back to the base real quick. I did not expect to find two new ones so quickly. But, hey, that is just, it's amazing. Cannot complain. Boom, boom, boom. Those things are heavy, so let's just take them out. Let's put our new souls in. Boom, boom. And two more kibbles. Let's go. And 
Bada boom. Bada boom. Awesome. All right. I guess we're where we want to be. So I'm feeling a little better about that. Anyway, I'm going to go head on over to it. And guys, just want to remind you, if you're enjoying this series, to show that amazing support by slamming that thumbs up button. And if you're new to the channel or you haven't yet, seriously, what are you waiting for? It is the perfect time to subscribe. Also, don't forget, we do have a member server. All you got to do to join it is be epic and awesome by supporting me and my channel by being a YouTube member. Yeah, that's all you got to do. So it's just an extra little special thank you to those that do. And yes, you can be a Twitch sub or a Prime sub, and that does work too. So just head on over to the Discord if you'd like more info. Anyway, let's hope we can actually still find it. I'll see you at the racks. All right, we have arrived. This is super sketch, dude. Oh, no. 16 million health. Crap. Why? Why is it? I think the music's from that guy, too. Oh, this is so bad. Ooh, how it oh, no. That is both epic and amazing. And um, our guy's about to get kissed. No, all that. All of that work and oh, and all we got was T-Rex arms. Why? Oh, oh, crap. Good thing I put extra movement speed in this guy because, um, yeah, we would be toast right now. I don't know how long this guy's going to follow us for. Holy crap. All right. Um, that was scary. <laughs> Luckily, I think there actually is another one on the map. Oh, goodness. All right. Let's go smack this guy just because I, I just feel. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. All right. I don't know what that sky jumper guy does. I don't know if he can. Oh, he. I mean, it, it could jump up to us. It is a flyer, so to speak. All right. Let's get out of here. We got the soul. Yikes. All right. Better luck on the next one. Maybe we'll see. You know what? It is super close to where we are now. I didn't even need to cut, but I had to check the shiny finder again. Yes, that's it. That's it right there. I'm just checking with this other. Oh, God. What's it fighting with? Okay. Corrupt Bigfoot. Not an issue. Let's just get rid of these dudes. Don't want them messing with us. Oh, God. Go away. Corrupt things. All right. We good? This Bigfoot is kind of high level for him. Just saying. All right. Um, right. Let's start to set up. Oh, stupid. Is there things chasing me still? No. Oh, stupid things. Oh, goodness. All right. Um, right. Let's start to set up our pen. This is actually good that it is like this. All right. Come on, Rex. Come in here. Come to me. No, 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 no. Come, come to me. Come in here to me. Crap, we got to get him to follow us around. And we got to get rid of this little turd nugget. Rex! Stupid thing. Oh, God. Mega P right there is not a good thing either. Come on. All right, we're going to do this to try and funnel him in. Yeah. All right, um, let's get rid of this turd because it's doing damage to me. These guys hit through the mount. All right. Hopefully there's none more. All right, come here, bro. Come here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's get our thing out. Come on. Rosie. That's it. That's it. Come. Dude, he's not interested in us. Come on. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, crap. Crap, crap, crap. Come on. No, dude. Why is this guy not... What is this raptor, by the way? I don't like this guy. Get out of here. All right. Um, dude. Was it because I'm flying? Come on. That's it. Come to me. Oh, goodness. Oh. I could try another trap. How many do we have left? We have 10 left. I could try and do another trap because I don't really like that it's so close to the Mega P. 
All right. Oh, no! Come on, dude! You're killing me here. You are absolutely killing me. Come on. Do I have to hit him? You see, I don't want to hit him because if I hit him... Oh, man. This is probably the more ideal spot. Come on, dude. Just because it's away from the Mega P, but... I don't know. Dude, I don't know why he's not interested in us. I don't know if it's because I'm the same, like, type as him. But it does not have a big aggro range. That's it. Oh, God. This Mega P. All right. Let's get him trapped. Oh, yes, yes, yes. All right. Uh, come on. I think that trapped him. I think it is now officially trapped. Holy crap. All right, Mega P kind of ran away, so that's good. One. All right, let's just hit him as much as we can to let that Torpor max. Uh, I do have the detoxes for myself. All right, come on. All right, let's see how much Torpor that did to him. Ew. Come on. All right. Good to know. We can really lay into this guy. Come on. Come on. So it doesn't actually happen until you stop hitting. Let's get it down to like halfway almost. All right. Let's see what that did. Oh, I don't like this guy. This Mega P could absolutely ruin everything for us. Oh, so close. All right, and that should be enough. Oh, God. All right, the Mega P is distracted. Come on, dude. No. All right, he's down. I kind of, like, we got to hurry, but I don't want to pull the aggro of the Mega P. But, oh, crap. No! 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 Stupid thing. I think we're going to have to wait for the Rex to wake up. Oh, you dummy. Oh, this sucks. All right, let's just look. I'm pretty positive he got nailed. Oh, it didn't hit him. Oh, no way. No way. All right, how many kibble? 12. All right, this is perfect. And look at 45 in the melee. All right, so we've got 15. Oh, can I find your inventory? All right, so we've got... Oh, where is it? Kibble. Two, three. Boom. That's incredible. How did he not get hit? It's got to be, like, because he was in the door, maybe? It protected him? I have no clue. I don't know, but, oh, man, am I happy. And like I said... 45 in the melee. That is huge. Uh, uh, I care more about this Rex than anything. So I just want to be able to get him immediately. All right. Next, this Mega P. What is the deal? I don't. Oh, it's an Ignis one, too. What does it take to make the boss runes? Let's just see. Boss, um, no, nope, can't see it there. Boss, it, like, it was super easy to knock out. Dude, that's not even that bad. One dinosaur at... Hmm. Like, that is not hard. That's what it says, right? No, it says elk crap. All right, boss and elemental. Still, uh, yeah, and that's more than we can afford right now. I mean, it's still pretty good, though. Um, I will say, though, I am quite curious to see what this guy would require for us if we wanted to kiss him. Like, what, what would he give us? 
The only thing I'm worried about is the fact that we did knock him out. It might not drop the stuff it otherwise would have. I talked about this before. But it should give us some crazy XP though, right? Alright, got all of our taming shenanigans. Um, we should be fine for Torp. I wish this guy wasn't in the water. Now I gotta sit like this and do it. Oh! Oh, crap. It's gonna take us a while, but this might give us a crap ton of XP. So, I mean, that's cool. We could also, though, bring... Well, you know what? We have our racks. Corrupt dragonfly? Whoa. I'm just trying to see. I saw a raptor. Okay. Um... I don't want to be hitting it with the RG. So let's grab all this stuff. I, I got to see what it actually drops because I've never done one of these. Um, Let's get out our racks. Because I feel like our racks would be able to make, you know, do the most damage the quickest. Oh, um, let's also do, remember, every time. I mean, I could see how it could be nice, but it's kind of annoying too. Every single time you got to take off your armor and put it back on. All right, look at that boost in power. Good God. And you know what? Since we are going to be breeding this Rex anyway, let's just go all in on damage. All right, come on, buddy. Yes. All right, it's still going to take a hot sack. I'm kind of curious. Does the roar do anything? I was reading that the roar is supposed to do like a fire, but maybe that's once it gets to the next tier. All right. We do still want to be careful, though. If we were, if something came over and kissed our racks, um, we would be back to square one without a breeding partner. All right. Let me uh, finish them up. All right. Final hits. And, and, what is it going to give us? And, yeah. Ooh. Okay. And then, was there a bag, too? Maybe. All right. Oh, we didn't get anything special there. We did get the. This is never good. The multiple value ones usually mean they're garbage, but um, it doesn't count as like the same as a vanilla one. Then we got the gorilla flag. Other than that, it's possible it would have dropped extra stuff had it not been knocked out. This I do not know, but in either case, we got a few goodies. It's good enough for me. So, on that note, let's get back to the base. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. What'd I do? How's my weight, by the way? Um, let's, before we go back, you know, we never got around to getting the honey. I still need to get, I still need to get a few more honeys. Um, let me see. Just two more. Two more hives of honey. Oh, God. Except for that dude. What the crap? Oh, you know what? We'll come back later. We'll come back later. That, that, it's telling me it's not a good time. I'll meet you back at the base. Wow. Would you look at these beauties? I am totally loving it. I'm guessing this is more of what the normal poison or venificus rex would actually look like. It's still a shiny of some sort, but I'm not really sure what Sherwood does. It's possible it's green and that's what it is. But yeah, our princess one clearly, you know, you can see it's got all the purples and magentas and whatnot. But the bigger bonus of these guys uh, and this new one, by the way, look at the stat difference. Huge, huge boost. So very big score today. In fact, you could almost treat this one like it was just the breeding partner whatever um anyway uh let's go ahead let's just put them on passive i don't want them running away let's go behavior enable mating and let's go behavior enable mating we're gonna let these guys sit for a while now kind of interesting notice in the description it actually says poison tier breed them to get the vulcanist rex fertilized egg well for the RG that we have, that we were did all the breeding for last time, 
it, it just doesn't say anything about it. So I'm really thinking, unfortunately, it just doesn't have a version like that, which kind of sad face. But hey, you know, it did its job. What we wanted it for really was to be a just a flying knockout artist. And I'd say it knocked out the Rex and it knocked out a Megapithecus. You can't really beat that. So let's do the same as we did before. Let's let them breed and I'll see you back when it's ready, when it's time to hatch all the epic eggs. Holds the phone. We might have got ahead of ourselves. Um, We absolutely before doing anything else uh want to make all these best and then use those to be the breeding partner because otherwise we're gonna have hundreds that we're gonna have to make best which we don't want to have to do so that all being said let's go ahead and go best egg see this is how it works um we'll make that the male and then let's turn all oh what the crap? Oh, Vulcan it. We got one already. And it will actually say it in the egg. That's cool. Except for the fact, see, we, this, while being cool, we didn't get a chance to do best egg on it yet. So that's why it's important. If we want to get all the best stats, we got to do it first. Oh, uh, I already forgot if we had a male. Okay, there's our male. So let's go ahead. In this, we can for one time make it decide whether we want to have a male or female and this is going to be important so that we can have all the breeding partners we want all right that's best that's best there's our male all right let's go ahead grab all these and let's hatch these out i'm telling you it's not fair we already got it that quickly should do we want to look at it yet i'm going to save it i'm going to save it we, uh, we will do it, but I'm going to save it for now. All right. And how long we got? Oh, it's going to take a hot second. All right. And let's go, babies. Beautiful. Okay. So we've got all these ones now with the best stats. And we can set the one male with all the females so that we can get even more eggs all at once. So let's go ahead, grab the two original parents. We can stick them over here with bada bing, bada boom with those. And let's now make our line of everybody all together. So we'll do the male right here. All right, cool. Crap. There's going to be a chance that they're, I was hoping, I like the green personally, but whatever. All right, there we go. There we go. And we're going to get Rex eggs too, which is kind of cool. There we go. There we go. There we go. How many do we have? Good Lord. Okay. And that's all of them. So I'm going to now set them all up. Behavior enable mating. They all have the good stats. Behavior enable mating. And we will now come back once we actually have an egg with the best stats for that. What is it? Volcanist here? I think it should be cool. All right. I've left them breeding for quite a while. And I think, I think it's time to check out what we got for eggs. So let's go ahead, pick up all these guys to make room for the potential babies. All right. Sweet. Let's get all them put away. And also, Pickle, you go there. All right. Got to clean up the poo. You know what I'm saying? You can't just leave it out. That's don't leave messy house. All right. Let's put all these good little babies in here. And let's see. Did we get it? So it would be V U. Oh, we got three. Okay. Off to a good start. And V U another. We got six total. That is a total score. All right, let's see what these eggs look like. So they should all be best. I made a new saddle too. Holy crap, the eggs actually look like volcano eggs, like lava. That's super sweet. So you can actually pick it out as you're going. 
All right, so it's gonna be... It's gonna be a little bit. Just a little bit. So I'll see you back in a couple seconds. All right, should happen any second now. I made it so that we can see the babies too. What? I had no idea. These are epic. They actually look like lava. That's crazy. That's really cool. Definitely a very cool thing. Holy cow. I wonder if we can also... What if you could keep breeding them to be different types? It's so purdy. But, you know, I don't got the patience. Let's just get them all picked up. And, all right, we got both males and females. They all look to have the good stats. So that's cool. Sometimes when dinos like change to a new type, they uh, they totally reset in what their stats are, but not these. Oh, we got three males, three females. Can't be much more perfect than that. Let's go ahead. Toss one. Out. Wow. Wow. All right, cool. So that was a male. Let's throw out a male and a female. I just want to see if you can breed them if you wanted to. I'm not going to go through all that. Other than stats, not really a benefit to it. Um, behavior, enable mating. And looks like you can. Enable mating. Yes. So is this going to give us... This will then give us a vol, uh, Volcanus one every single time. All right, come on. I want to I want to see that Volcanus egg. And let's go. Boom, got it. All right, this is cool. This is super cool. All right, behavior disable mating and behavior disable mating. All right. So, um the females are probably going to be more valuable, so let's take a male out cuz we only need one male, but you know, Ooh, trophy slot. Interesting. I don't know if maybe there's other stuff you can do here, but, you know, it looks cool. I like it. Definitely like it. Um, Let's go ahead and we'll throw for now these guys into here. Beautiful. And let's put on for you, sir, a that and a that. Boom and a boom. I'm really excited to see what this guy ends up being like. You know, is it going to be crazy good? I, I have no clue. No clue what to expect. Are you emptied out? All right. I spent while I, while I was doing all that, just spent time leveling up our RG. Oh, this is going to be exciting. I'm I'm hoping for huge power. I'm hoping it, it gets really big. So get you packed up. Let's get out of Rex again. I wish it showed the icons. That would be super cool if it did. Please, please, please. All right. So, first things first. Take off the armor and put back on the armor. Because remember, this is how you get your dino to get the buffs. If you don't do that, you don't get the buffs. Can't say that enough because I know people are going to miss it. All right. So, starting hit. It's already decent. It's like a faster walk already, it feels like. Come on, big damage. What? That dwarfs everything else we have had yet. I don't think we have a dino that hits in the thousands. Now we do. And this is like off the bat. It hits for that much. And I'd say this guy might be fast enough that I don't have to waste stats in the movement speed. Like, I would be still nice, but... And also, 29,000 health! Oh, now I'm going to have to find out. Oh, yeah. And look, at it starts with 120. That's why um, I'm going to have to. I have no clue what to expect if we're going to need to boost our health. Um, we're probably going to want to make an army of these for once we go and take on a boss. And we'll probably have like some that are max melee, but then others that are max health. Just so you can, you know, always have that mate boost scenario and some in between. But I guess for this first one, let's just go all in melee just to find out. It's going to it's going to take a long time to level these guys up. I do not know if they have like XP potions or something like that. Oh, this is so cool. All right. Um, Next, is its roar do anything special? Let's have a look. And what can I say? First roar on the racks. 
Yeah, baby. All right. Doesn't look like it did anything, but, you know, we got to actually try it on something to find out. All right. All right. Come here, little, little dude. Let's go and roar on ya. Let's see if it does any effects to him. Roar. We stunned him and it made him poo. And it kissed him with the bite. Dude, we are almost at 2,000 now. This is so good. Good God. All right. Well, we are definitely moving up in the world. Oh, I love this so much. I'm just mesmerized by it. But anyway, let me see how much time we have left. If we need to call it here or if we have time to do a little bit more. Either way, I'm going to spend a little bit leveling this guy up. Holy crap. All right. We got a little, just a little bit of time left. We could do one more thing. Um, I have been running around this island for a bit, though. Let's just see. Can we break that 2000 mark? Come on, baby. Yeah, dude, it's going to be so strong. I just know it. It is going to be unstoppable. Anyway, um, let's go ahead, grab all the shenanigans, get this guy packed up for now, and um, let's get this honey thing done. I want to get that special hive. So I'll meet you over in the Redwoods. All right, over at my teleporter in. I, I want to show you this. I told you the other day about it. The maw. What the crap does that mean? I don't know. Maybe I'm stupid. But um, anyway, two beehives. I know right over by where our shenanigans is. He Ooh, hold on, hold on. Bullman, come here, buddy. Let's go. We got to get him. Come here. Oh, crap. Don't. I don't want him to get knocked out. All right, cool. Let's go over here. So we got one beehive there and let's try and get our eyes on two beehives if possible. And this time I'm, I'm going to carry this guy on our shoulder because I feel like it would be beneficial. All right. Uh, there's a beehive right there. All right. Cool. So we'll go to this beehive and then back there to the, that one. Hopefully there's no Thyla. Dude, I hope that there's some cool Thyla in this mod. You guys know how much I love Dyla. Um, let's also just use her corrupt armor this time. I want to see if there's any difference. Oop. There we go. All right. Oh, this one we might have problems getting. Oh, seriously. Yeah. Come on, dude. Not cool. All right. Can't get that one. There's another one there, though. All right. Let's go to that one then. Come on. I know bad things could happen. We do have a teleporter on the guy on our shoulder. All right, there it is. Please don't like totally stun lock me. All right, gathered honey. Let's go. Oh crap. I do feel like there might be extra effects that's bad. Oh God. Um, go, go, go. Oh, they dismount you. Okay, yeah. Um, Crap. Go. All right. The effect right now. Uh, definitely Gilly is the way to go. That's why. We didn't get that crazy effect on us before. Holy crap. All right. Um, we're going to ride you for a second. But we did get the honey, right? Okay. We got the honey. Let's see. There's the other hive right there. Let's just make sure it's all clear. <laughs> I would like it if we could... Oh. Steely guy, that would have not been good. We get everyone. There's another steely guy. Let's just get him. Never know. Oh, what the crap? For a second. Ooh, beaver den. Beaver den. Hold on, hold on. I want to get the cementing paste. Whenever I see one, I got to grab it. All right, you're down. Come here. Hopefully, that's all the beavers. All right, you're down. I don't see... Oh, there is another beaver there. I think. All right, we'll wait for him. All right, boom. Let's drop that wood. Throw it all into the RG. Let's also throw the honey on the RG. All right, come here, buddy. Ooh, a shiny beaver. Nice. Too bad we got a better shiny beaver. 
All right, and he's going to get knocked out. Watch. Except we'll lose all the shiny stuff. Let's get him. All right. I think we're clear. All right, cool. Let's pick you up. Let's switch into our ghillie. So there and there. Let's just see if we get that nasty effect. I don't think we will. And got honey. Okay, see, I don't see. Oh, I don't see that nasty. Oh, nah. Yeah, it's not as bad. Oh, God. Let me on. Let me on. Go. Oh, oh, crap. It still does. Crap. All right. Let's go across the lake. Please. Please. Let me do it. And. Oh, my goodness. All right. And mounted. And let's go home. And D-Mag base. Finally, we did it. We actually did it. Good Lord. Oh, finally. All right, let's grab all the stuff. Did good, RG. Good job. Let's grab that and beehive. Domesticated beehive. Oh, crap. All right, we need rare flowers. We need more rare flowers. That's fine. We'll work on that next time. Oh, on that note, let me go through those comments. All right, guys, normally this would be the time that I go through the comments and name the dinos. However, I'm making this clip right now just in case I happen to lose power. I do happen to live in the area right now that uh, a hurricane's coming through. It's not going to be a direct hit. It's nothing you have to worry about for my safety, but there is the definite possibility that I lose power. And if I happen to lose power, because remember, I, I record, you know, the day before. And in this case, it's actually two days before because, you know, we did this right after the last episode. Um, there's a possibility I lose power and I don't get a chance to read the comments because I always have to wait till the next day to uh, read them. So, you know, all these sort of good things. So if this part actually goes onto the video, that means... I lost power and I pre-uploaded already this part just so that you guys wouldn't miss a video. However, this may never see the light of day because if I don't lose power, I'm going to redo this. But anyway, just wanted to let you know. Um, so that would mean in this episode, we'd normally be naming the Pteranodon and the RG. Yeah, they don't have names yet, but don't you worry. I will be going through the comments to uh, reveal what their names are. But for now, they're nameless. And in this video, I need you to leave name suggestions for what our new uh, Rex. Yeah, the green one is. That's the one that we tamed today. And then what our new Volcano Rex should be. Yeah, so help me out, guys, in the comments below. But anyway, thank you all so very much for watching. It's been a pleasure. As you always do, please remember to show that amazing support for the series by smashing that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel or you haven't yet, please do not forget to subscribe for the Daily Arc Awesomeness. And as always, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks again and peace out.